Today, I'm gonna show you how to make this. Crispy Korean vegetable pancakes using zucchini. I mean, this is one of my favorite ways to enjoy eating zucchini. Oh, it is so good, so easy to make. And you dip your crispy zucchini pancake in this soy sauce dipping sauce and have it together. I'm gulping my mouth already. 오늘의 레시피 맛있는 호박전 만들기 오늘도 여러분들과 영원 함께 하겠습니다. 음. Oh, that is so crispy. I don't know if you could hear it through the mic. Oh boy. Hi everyone, this is Helen and welcome to Modern Pepper. 안녕하세요, Modern Pepper의 Helen입니다. For our recipe today, we need about 300 grams of zucchini or yellow squash or summer squash. We're gonna cut the ends off and then we're gonna slice them diagonally like so. Now I would prefer to use the Korean squash called ehobak. It's also called Mexican squash here in the States. So if you could get a hold of those, that'd be great. What you wanna do is stack them and we're just gonna cut them into thin strips and add them to a bowl. And just continue cutting the rest. And to this, we're gonna add quarter teaspoon of salt and you could use fine ground salt here and sprinkle it like so and then i just want you to toss the zucchini around gently to mix the salt because we don't want to break up our delicate zucchini sticks leave this alone on your kitchen counter at room temperature for 20 minutes and 20 minutes later our zucchini is now very soft and bendy and wilted and that's exactly what we want. Extracted all this moisture from our zucchini and the salted liquid, we're gonna use it also as our seasoning liquid as well. If you don't do this, the zucchini is gonna release all the juices in our pancake and our pancake will get kind of soggy. Here I have some red onion. I'm just gonna take a small section off. So I would say it would be like a quarter of a medium sized onion. Onion, and then we're gonna slice our onions thin. Pick it up and add it to our bowl. And we also need one garlic clove. You could mince this up or slice them thin. Go as thin as you can go. We're gonna also add this to our bowl. Here I have Korean pancake mix as well as Korean tempura mix. We're gonna combine these two and we're gonna add three quarter cups of Korean pancake mix. That's one quarter, two quarter, and three quarter. And here's one quarter of our tempura mix. And to this, we're gonna add some black pepper, just a small pinch. Here I have one third cup of cold water and we're just gonna add half of this. So usually I mix the pancake mix separately and then add the vegetables, but with this one, we're doing it the reverse way because I wanna actually make our zucchini batter mix extra thick so it stays nice and crispy. Right now, the batter looks pretty dry. Be patient and just gently mix in, like fold in our zucchini with our powder mix. Now it's starting to get a little thick, as you can see. Continue folding before you decide to add more water. Our batter looks a little too thick. Like you see this starch here? We want this to be a little bit more loose and not that clumpy. So I'm gonna add the rest of my one third cup of water, but let's gently fold over and mix. After mixing gently for about like 30 seconds, you notice how our batter mix is no longer as thick, but I want it to be just a slightly more thin. So I'm gonna add maybe less than a tablespoon more of water, and then I want you to mix it again. Go from underneath and fold over, fold over, turn your bowl and fold over, and just keep on doing that for about a good 30 seconds. You notice how now this is the consistency we're looking for. Oh, this is perfect. So you should be able to pick it up and drop it. All right, now this is ready to go on our frying pan. Set your heat to high and place your large nonstick frying pan and let it preheat for about a good minute or two. 
Once your frying pan is preheated, I want you to add a generous amount of oil. So if you want to make your pancake crispy, <laughs> you need oil. <laughs> That's the bottom line. Put enough so that you can swirl this amount of oil in your pan like that. Quickly, we're going to add our batter to this frying pan. So if you don't hear that sizzling sound when you add your batter mix, then you need to preheat your frying pan a little bit longer. And then quickly, I want you to spread our zucchini pancake mix evenly into a round circle. Now, for those of you who are asking, can you make this batter ahead of time and use it later? The answer is absolutely no. Once you mix in the batter with the water, it needs to be cooked right away. So your heat remains at high, and we're gonna cook this on high heat for about two minutes. And I just want you to make sure you're spreading everything so that there is even distribution all around like that. And then kind of press it down a little bit. Ooh, it's frying up nice. So with your heat remaining at high, about a minute later, I want you to kind of rotate your pancake like this because unfortunately the heat distribution isn't even. And you see how it's frying up really nice here? So let's take a peek. Oh yeah, this is ready to be flipped. So we're looking for that golden brown color to our pancake. So when it comes to flipping, honestly, you just gotta lift it and just do it, okay? So you go up and I'm gonna tilt my pan this way so I don't splatter myself with oil. And look at that, look at that beautiful color. And then move your pan around again so that we give our pancake even distribution of oil. I'm using corn oil but use your favorite choice of oil. I'm gonna turn down the heat to medium and let this finish kind of sizzling away on the other side. So the first side took about a little over a minute to two minutes. Oh boy, this is gonna be extra crispy. All right, so it's been about three minutes on medium heat on the other side, second side, and let's take a look. Oh yeah. That's exactly the color that we're looking for. To make it extra crispy, what we're gonna do is flip it over one more time. So here we go. We go in, tilt the pan, flip it over so the oil doesn't splash you. And on medium heat, we're just gonna crisp up at the other side for about a minute. All right, so it's been a minute. We're gonna turn the heat off completely and then pick up our zucchini pancake baby and just put it on our plate like so. Okay, so for me, instead of cutting them up on a, a cutting board, what I like to do is just like go in with my chopsticks and like attack it. You just peel it up. You could hear the crispiness. The key is the tempura batter mix and how we fried it. Oh, ho, 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 you know that's gonna be good. This must take a dipping in our pancake soy sauce mixture. OMG. And I have a recipe on how to make three versions of your soy sauce dipping sauce for your Korean pancakes. So check it out. The video will be linked below. I can't wait to eat. I just gulped in my mouth. So you have to eat this as soon as it comes off the frying pan. All right, maybe wait like two minutes when it comes off the frying pan. <sighs> bon appetit. Mmm. <laughs> I'm sort of speechless, kinda. <laughs> Not really, because I'm talking, obviously. Oh, that is so crispy. I don't know if you could hear it through the mic. Oh boy. Who knew, you know, vegetables, especially zucchini, could taste this good, right? And then here comes the kitchen shears. You just go in with your scissors. Oh, kitchen shears are so good. And you could serve everyone their pieces and you could give the crispy parts, like this one, to your favorite person. <laughs> when you have Korean pancakes, there's a Korean saying like, you must have it with makgeolli. Well, not you must, but it's kind of called for. So here's my favorite makgeolli that comes in a can. I can't believe it, I love it. Cheers everyone, kombe. Oh. Today feels like a Friday, but it's not. It's like Monday, it sucks, but just made it a little better. Makgeolli is your unfiltered rice wine 
go to a Korean market and get one. Don't buy the flavored, fruit flavored makgeolli. There's a Korean saying, when it rains, 비 오는 날엔, you have to eat some puchimge, savory pancakes. I don't know, when it rains, you just gotta eat more, I guess, to make yourself happy. <laughs> mm. Mm. Mm, 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 mm. If you love Korean pancakes, make sure to go to youtube.com slash modern pepper, click on that playlist tab and select Korean pancakes recipe playlist and you'll see a bunch of different Korean pancakes that you can make at home with me. So I will see you there. So I want to thank everyone for watching today and if you enjoyed watching today's video, as always, always, I would greatly, greatly appreciate it if you would click on that thumbs up icon. Doing so does tremendous, wonderful things for my channel, so I greatly appreciate your support. And make sure to subscribe, hit that notification bell so you and I could make more Korean dishes together. 여러분 오늘 재밌게 보셨으면 꼭 좋아하는 버튼과 구독 버튼 좀 눌러주세요. 감사합니다. 다음 비디오에서 꼭 뵙겠습니다. All right, folks, I will see you in one of the videos you see right here.